doing some hiking. Look at all that stuff. I'm in Mount Charleston. There's a big river. And this is where we're going. And this is Sydney. Doing such a good job. Huh, Sydney? Doing such a good job. All right, hello guys. And I'm just gonna cut into that video here with actually talking over it. So first and foremost, sorry for the shaky video, but I do do these with cell phones. Um, I don't know, I'm thinking about actually getting a nice camera, but for now, cell phone videos. So this is me and Cindy hiking, as I said. And um, before this, we did go on a small trail where I let her actually just go on her leash and sniff. Uh, she went a little crazy. <laughs> but then I decided this trail was a reasonable trail for her to guide me on. So um, this is her guiding me. And it's really, really cool to see how she actually works on a trail like this. There are a lot of obstacles that she has to bring me around, as you can probably see. She did brilliant here stopping for tree branches and stuff. We were here maybe about two months ago, actually. I'm a little late getting this video up. But there are some very interesting things that happen in this video that I'm wanting to show you guys. Uh, the first is coming up. We ran into some pet dogs that were off leash. Now before you really see what happens, I just want to explain it really quickly. The owner did a really good job in asking me if she should put the dogs on leash. I asked if they were friendly and um, when she said they were, I said that was okay, she didn't have to. In hindsight, I probably should have actually asked her to put them on leash, but you're going to see that right here. Uh, you're going to see Cindy, how she reacts. Uh, I decided to drop the harness and let her sniff the dogs because that's, you know, the best way that you can greet another dog. <laughs> So here she is sniffing one of them. You just want a loose leash. You don't want any tension on that or anything. Uh, I know my dog. I know she's really friendly. Um, but again, this distracted her too much, and I learned from this. I knew that we might run into off-leash dogs, and actually on this trail, we ran into a lot of off-leash dogs. This was the only lady who asked me if she needed to put her dogs on leash. Um, and none of the other owners did, and I took that risk when I took Cindy on the trail in harness. Uh, but I think it was a really good opportunity for her. So you're going to see how I get her attention back after that crazy distraction. Okay. Let's see if she gets it. Cindy, kill. Hey. Cindy, uh, I didn't correct Come properly at that time. I couldn't really see what she was doing. <laughs> yes. I should have corrected, um, corrected her for not looking at me. And then She's I should have corrected her. Cindy, kill. Sit. Good. So you're going to see, yep. I'm going to slowly get her attention back, I'm going to do some puppy push-ups. Yep. Those are very, very helpful in this case. Good. See, she's listening again. So it's all about being positive, uh, waiting for her to listen, and praising her when she's able to refocus on me, despite that crazy distraction. I don't expect her to be uh, amazingly behaved after something like that, but I do expect her to snap back into work mode. She is. She found something for me. What a good girl. So now you're just going to see me and Cindy doing a little bit of working from the back and from the front. Uh, this video is kind of cool in that we have a few different perspectives. I actually got my um, family to take some of the footage for me, which they were very gracious in doing. Uh, so you're going to see me and Cindy work and it's kind of cool because now you're able to see how we function together, not just Cindy's perspective. So here we came to a river and you're going to see us cross the river. I can't really see what I'm doing so it's uh, all up to my dad to tell me where to go um, and how to cross and then I gave the leash to him because I knew I was going to, as, as you see in the video, I was going to be standing there and Cindy didn't deserve to stand in that water. <laughs> So, um, so you're going to see she's a little hesitant going into the water, but of course it's not going to hurt her. She's, she's totally fine. We just put pressure on the leash until she decided to jump. This river actually crisscrossed the path a few times. That was maybe her fourth time jumping across it, so we knew that she was fine. She wasn't scared. She was a little unsure about the running water, but it wasn't dangerous at all for her. And here's me and Cindy just working. There's 
Cindy doing some amazing guide work. Good girl, Cindy. It's really amazing when she can just bring me around rocks that would trip me. I should say when I am able to look about an inch away at this footage, I'm able to see what's happening because I do have a few inches of detail vision. But when I'm outside in bright light, all that vision goes away. And even if it didn't, I can't see the few feet away from me. I can't see the details or the change in grayscale that would indicate a rock. My depth perception is horrible. So yes, I'm able to talk about what happened in this video, but I wasn't able to see it at the time, if you were wondering. <laughs> There's Cindy telling me um, that there's some branches and stuff like that. She's doing amazing. And though you can't hear in the video, I am giving her a lot of verbal praise, telling her she's a good girl. Uh, the school I got Cindy from does not use treats, and I'll probably touch on that in another video sometime, but we use praise. Praise is what these dogs work for. Um, and not to mention she was just happy to be on a hike anyway, so she was in good mood anyway. So there you have it. That was us hiking. I hope you enjoyed it and thought it was kind of interesting. Okay guys, I'll see you in the next video.